in prison, faithful to the cross, to the message of Christ. And he, he tells the people in Philippi, follow me. <coughs> follow my example. In fact, if you think of it, you know, I, I have a, I have a, I've mentioned this to a lot of people. When you follow Christ, trust me, at the end of the day, the day, you will never regret it. You might not be convinced of it now, but mark my word, you will never forget it. God will not be put to shame for the people that has been faithful to Him. He will honor us. Our life here on earth is short. Might as well be faithful. He asked, what He asked of us is so little of our time. To gain eternal benefits. Sabi ko nga last week, our problem is we want to make the temporal eternal. We want to make the temporal eternal. For go to First Corinthians chapter eleven, please. First Corinthians eleven, verse one says, "Simple. Be imitators of me, just as I also am of Christ." At the end of the day, as I said, the purpose of our salvation found in Romans chapter 8 is what? That we may be conformed to the image and likeness of His Son, which is Christ. <coughs> Go to 2 Thessalonians, please. <coughs> 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 7 to 9. says for you yourselves know how you ought to follow our example because we did not act in an undisciplined manner among you nor did we eat anyone's bread without paying for it but with labor and hardship we kept working night and day so that we would not be burdened to any of you not because we did not have the right right to this but in order to offer ourselves as a model for you so that you would follow our example. You know, the, the funny thing here is the Greek word for follow has the same sound as the word mimic. And that is what Paul is saying here. Mimic me. And the thing is, if you go to a mime, mime, mime school, you know mime, mime, in a mime school or a mime act, do you see people talking? <laughs> no, right? It's a mime, mime act. No one talks. And that's the point when we are to be an example to others. Our actions speak louder than our words. Our actions speak louder than our words. Same is true with Paul. He says, follow my example. Not my words, but by my life. Mimic me. Don't say it. Do it. And Paul is telling them to mimic him. Not, not because he's better than them. But because he was in the same situation. He, he too was being persecuted. He too was being put down. Yet, he continues to press on. The question for us is, can we be a good example of what the standard of Christianity is? If people look at your life 
and observe it, can they use it as a standard to determine what a genuine believer is and what a, and who are not? If you are the standard, or or will the person find it difficult? Because you live like the world. That's the sad part. If you live like the world, man, either you chances are you're deceived. Really, chances are. It's one thing to say, it's, a, it's one thing to do. What you do is what you really believe. So, in verse 17, it says, Brethren, join in following my example. And the second part, it says, And observe those who walk according to the pattern you have in us. <coughs> the problem with Paul is this. He hasn't seen the church, the Christians in Philippi, for more than 10 years. And he's 800 miles away. And Paul is telling them, so, so it's hard for, for them, for him to be really literally an example. Because he's far away. He's, he's in Hong Kong, in jail. Right? And, and Paul says, guys, observe. Look around you. The word there is attentively fixing one's attention. We are to attentively fix our attention. You know, my wife knows this. I have this knack in a couple of things, but two of the things that I have a strong knack on is I can spot a security guard or a, or a what do you call this? A um, bodyguard. I really can spot them. Even if they're hiding, blah, blah, I can really spot them. Um, like recently, my wife was in the was in the in a store and I told my wife you know that girl has a security the security is there there and there really this guy yeah yeah that she has a security no and and I have that now I can I can determine if a person is 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 has security around him even though they try to hide another another knack that I have kind of security wise also was one time me and my wife we were we were walking in in, uh, in Turkey Walking in the, in the, huh? oh, Greece. Oh, sorry, in Greece. We were walking. And uh, while walking, I told my wife, Honey, there's somebody following us. Said, yeah, who? That guy with the dog. Okay, what we do is this let's enter the shop. So we entered the shop. I know the guy can enter because he has a dog. Okay. Let's stay here. So we stayed there. There's a guy. And I thought, and there's a guy following us. So we, we stayed in the shop for about 10 minutes. So I thought, mark your eyes. Huh? Once we step out, the guy, if the guy is still there, let's, let's try to make another plan. True enough, when I stepped out, the guy was there. Feeling was victimized. Huh? So what I did, I called a cab. We rode a taxi. I don't know how to Hindi na siya sumunod. But here kasi, Paul is telling us to be very observant. Very keen. Now, I realize something. You cannot find something that you are not looking for. Or how do you find that? <laughs> if, you're looking, if you're not looking for it, how shall you find it, right? You cannot find what you are not looking for but the word here to observe is not only to attentively fix our eyes on it but it has the idea of emulating it we are to heavily look around for people that are that has the same attitude as paul who perseveres in tri times of trouble we are to fix our eyes on them 
and what emulate it. And the thing there, I, I never realized that this word, observe, is a command. It's a command of God. If we are to, <coughs> it, it is as equal as thou shall not commit murder. To observe and look out at people intently and try to look for those who are persevering and growing in the faith and to follow them, emulate them, and mimic them. Because our life here on earth is not easy. We need and we need people. We have national heroes. Eh? They're there so that they are an example for people to emulate dying for their country, sacrificing for their country. Are we searching? Are we looking? Because that word is continually observed. Continually seek. I mean, that's the idea now why I went to that retreat. I really wanted to meet this kind of people. I want to know who they are, what they do. And honestly, they're obviously like me, right? <laughs> Who's been to go there. But they're really like me. Just normal, regular people who just love study and knowing more about God and His Word. So Paul says, follow me, follow my example, and observe those who are walking similarly. Imitate them. The way they live. The way they behave. Now, why is that? It's because in the midst now, in the church in Philippi, there are a lot, it says there, for many walk. In verse 18. Verse, verse 18. Not few, but many. There are because there are a lot of people within your midst who are claiming to be Christians, who are in reality. They are enemies of the cross of Christ. You know, the Philippi, as we studied in the past, was a bustling place. A lot of people lived there. A lot of military people lived there. And it's it's a it's a a major thoroughfare. And what that means is the access there is easy, entering and exiting. And there are a lot of people that congregates there. <clears throat> Therefore, the church in Philippi is being exposed to a lot of Christian people. And Paul wants to warn them, not all people who claim that they are Christians are Christians. In fact, there are many within your midst, within our church, who says that they are Christians, but in reality they are the enemies of the cross. Go to Acts chapter 20, please. <clears throat> Acts chapter 20. Verse 28 to 31 says, Be on your guard for yourself and for all the flock, among which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers, to shepherd the church of God, which He purchased with His own blood. I know that after many departures, savage wolves will come in among you, not sparing the flock, and from among your own selves, men will arise, speaking perverse things to draw away the disciples after them. Therefore, be on alert, remembering that night and day for a period of three years.